welcome back to my channel. My name is Aquarius, and if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment below on what are some things that you are doing to keep, you know, a healthy mental health during the quarantine time. So I decided that I wanted to take you guys outside today, which is one of the things that I like to do since we all have been stuck in the house. I'm going to be doing the questionnaire tag for you today. And it's kind of like you get to know me a little bit better as well with some of the questions that I'll be answering. And it won't take long, it's only 10 questions and we will get through them together. So when I sit outside, I also like to have a nice beverage and just completely chill out, you know, without my kids, just a little bit of me time, no husband, no nothing. Um, and you might see people walking around in their backyards because I live in really close quarters to my neighbors. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get into this tag so that you can get to know more about me and what I've been doing during the quarantine. So the first question is, did you prepare for the quarantine or did you wait until the last minute? Um, preparedness. I don't think anybody was prepared for being in the house, homeschooling your own children for over a month. So I would say I wasn't prepared, but I'm a person who shops at Sam's Club. So I wasn't, I really wasn't hoarding anything. I just had everything that I need because that's the way I shop anyway, if the quarantine was not going on. Question number two is, are you secretively happy you're home or are you miserable and can't wait to go outside? Okay, so <laughs> I love being at home with my kids um, for a lot of different reasons. I feel like when they were at school, you could only protect them from certain things. I have two boys that are in middle school and one is in high school. So, you know, I feel like Having them home with me has just been not all peaches and creams. We've gotten on each other's nerves, but it works. And um, I really have really good self learners. I don't think I could be as happy if they were younger kids, okay? I couldn't imagine trying to keep them entertained all the time. So I'm very happy to be at home with my family. And if, you know, my job was like, hey, girl, you can work from home permanently that would be that would really make me happy um my husband already worked from home anyway two days a week so it's not a huge change for him um as far as outside opening i don't want it to open until it's safe no matter how i feel um about wanting to go to some of my favorite stores nothing much has changed except i haven't been able to go hang out with my girlfriends, um, and do little fun stuff that we used to do together. I miss them. And seeing my family. I wasn't really big on outside anyway, so. Who was the last person you checked on during the quarantine? Of course, my mama, okay? Um, my mom has three girls, and we are extremely, extremely close. I talk to my sisters every day. I FaceTime my sisters every day. Um, I talked to my mom. I was talking to her regular, on a regular basis anyway because she lives in Tennessee and I live in Atlanta. So we already had our regular routine going. I say we check on each other more now. Um, and my mom is in that more vulnerable age group who if they get it, it can be deadly. So um, I definitely check on my mom every day. My dad, I'm getting really good at checking on him, checking up on him at least two times a week. Um, and you know, men are more laid back. So that's kind of like how our relationship has been anyway. Um, so yeah, I think I checked on my mom recently and my sister. Question number four is who do you normally spend your quarantine time with? Um, I normally spend my quarantine time with my husband. Um, again, my kids are really great at being independent. So, you know, we have family movie time. We have, you know, um, family dinner. I try to do it at least once a week. Um, we have 
family game night and that has definitely increased since we've been in quarantine so i would definitely say that i spend the most time with my husband because we are lazy and tend to lay in bed and watch movies all the time like all the time i think he's upstairs watching one without me as i'm filming this okay so it would be my husband okay so the next question is who are you quarantined with well in the beginning it was my husband my two children my nephew and his girlfriend um now that um quarantine has been a little bit more or states are starting to open so they left um, my nephew and his girlfriend so now it is just my husband and my two children so the next question is have you been outside and how many times I go outside like to walk around the neighborhood once a day I try to get at least 30 minutes of exercise um, just be walking nothing you know all sportish or whatever um, and now I've been going out a little bit more. Sometimes my husband and I just like to ride or we go to maybe get something to eat and have maybe like a little quarantine date in the car, which is kind of pretty awesome to have a little bit of time out of the house and to ourselves away from the kids. So I would say now I go outside probably two times a day. Because, again, my job has me working from home, so I technically don't have the same routine where I'm getting up, going to work, and coming back home. So, about two times a day. The next question is, how many hours of sleep are you getting a day? I would say that number has definitely increased because I used to get anywhere from six to eight hours of sleep where that has gone up to about seven to ten hours of sleep um on the weekend i find myself taking naps yes and it ruins me and then i'm up all night watching some of our favorite favorite because i we we've run out of netflix stuff to watch so we're watching stuff from our childhood at this point like cheers and um which is a really great show if you don't know what cheers is it's hilarious um and it's on hulu and we have started with season one with Golden Girls at nighttime, and that's how we fall asleep. I just gave y'all some shows. Write that down. <laughs> what is your favorite food to snack on during quarantine? My favorite food to snack on would have to be, um, I love blue chips. I don't know if you've heard of them before. They're called blue chips. But they're actually not blue. They're black. And I have this really nice French onion dip. Um, I'll insert a picture so you guys can see it. It is so good. And the French onion dip is about 70 calories. So it's really, really good. Um, I'm starting to scale back on snacking because I have gained some pounds during the quarantine. Okay. I was already trying to lose about 15 pounds before. We went under quarantine. Now I can add eight in addition to that 15, okay? Because your girl was snacking, eating, drinking, and everything during the first 30 days of quarantine. I'm not going to lie because I'm going to keep it real. I was a little out of control. But I definitely have noticed the tightness in my clothes, and it's time to go back a little bit. What have you been watching? I was ready for this question because I've already told you guys, of course, you want to watch Cheers. Cheers is a really great show. So you can fall asleep at nighttime on, but it's still funny and good. Golden Girls Season 1, I have been obsessing over. Uh, and I'm going to insert them off so you can know what they look like. Jane the Virgin. Oh, my God. I don't know. My my One of my children got me hooked on it. It sounds crazy, but he did. It's a really great show. It's a telenovela, Wava, which is a daytime soap opera, um, Hispanic soap opera, within a soap opera. It is so good. Um... I'm going to try to throw out some that I know I have enjoyed. Um, my children and I are going back and watching series like The, um, the Divergent. Divergent? I think I'm saying it right. Um, yes, we started with the first one. It's a trilogy. We, uh, I just been, I've been watching a lot of great stuff on TV. I, oh, 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 um, 
I watched Madam C.J. Walker. I have watched everything on Netflix, everything. Um, I'm exploring Hulu a little bit more now. So, yes, those are some great shows that I have been watching on television. And I'm a TV guru, so you need to take my advice on any time I tell you what to watch on TV because I'm bomb and so is, you know, my choice of television. I don't lead people astray. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Queen of the South on Netflix is amazing. It actually is a TBS show, and I'm waiting for the fifth season to come out, okay? Hopefully they filmed it, and I ain't got to play and delay, you know, coming back on air in June. Okay, quarantine is messing up everything for us. The last question is, how much toilet paper did you buy? Like I said before, I did not go crazy and go out here and buy rows and rows and rows of toilet paper. I already, before quarantine time, or before corona, was purchasing um, the big bulk of toilet paper when I go because I have a, a house full of people. So I was already buying about two to three whenever I went to Sam's Club anyway. So it wasn't this urge or this this need for me to go immediately and run out and buy up all the paper towel. I normally buy Clorox wipes. I didn't run out and buy all of them up. Now, what I did go and get was a hand sanitizer. I did have to go get, I, I really did because I only had like the Bath and Body Works little bitty ones um, that I carried in my purse. And of course, that wasn't enough if we were going to be getting out and needed to um, wash our hands every time we came back from the store or getting in and out of my car. So, yes, definitely I did not stock up on toilet paper. So, world, it wasn't me who left your shelves completely empty, okay? It wasn't the barnet. So, the last thing that I want to talk about is this drastic change that I know you guys noticed in the video is that I got my hair cut. Um, it was definitely something that I had wanted to do before quarantine, okay? I have been talking to my friends about it, talking to my husband about it. I just felt like I needed something new. I needed a refresh. And my husband reminded me that, hey girl, you do this every time you're about to get ready and graduate from school. Let's go take a look at your um, cap and gown photos. All my cap and gown photos, I have a bob. Um, it's just one of those things that I like to do. Um, right before I go into the workforce or start a new journey or a new career. So I definitely like it. I hope you guys like it. If you like my hair club below, let me know. Um, I'm loving it, darlings. Yes, I'm loving it. I am so loving it. It's so freeing and I just felt like I cut so much weight off of me. You know what I mean? Like it was a release. It was a let go girl and just go and do you and love doing you. You know what I mean? So, anyway, you guys, it was awesome to go through this tag with you guys so you can know a little bit more about me. I know that I'm working on letting you guys in a little bit more, um, a little bit at a time through each and every video. I want to thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know what are some of your favorite things that you like to do during the quarantine. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.